for a brighter future. And I'm coming at you today with a video about how to avoid scams. The following clip is a conversation with me and Harmony One from MTOPSwap built on the Harmony protocol. It's an amazing episode and he does an incredible job of breaking down what or how to identify a scam in the cryptocurrency ecosystems that we all love and enjoy. It's definitely helpful, it's helpful for me and it's helped people in my community already. So I really hope you guys give it a watch, share it, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. For anybody that's new and watching this and just wanting to feel a little bit safer when they're sifting through these projects, what are some red flags that you normally find right away on your, in your experience? That's that's a really good question. I'm 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 glad you asked. It's it's kind of like uh, it's kind of overwhelming to some, but um, I'll go through five real quick. Um, first of all, look at their social media. Look at their Twitter. Look at their Discord. They're your best friends. If uh, there's nothing, if there's no activity on the Twitter profile, if there's no activity in the Discord channel, if you cannot go in and talk to a team member, mod, or developer, something might be weird. If uh, if you look at their if you, if you search the token on Twitter and you sort by latest and, um, you know, you'll be able to see a lot of bot activity either, either on that or on the comments of the actual Twitter page itself. If there's a lot of, you know, you can kind of tell when, when there's bot activity. These are red flags. Uh, secondly, the white paper and the website. If the white paper or website are, are uh, abnormally short or lacking in detail, science is scam. Um, check the copy on the website, copy paste it into Google to see if it's been copy pasted from another project. Um, mm -hmm. uh, thirdly, uh, you can look on most explorers at the list of holders a token has. Um, you can usually paste the token contract address in Harmony Explorer or whatever explorer you have, click the holders mm -hmm. tab and you can see if there's an abnormally, number, abnormally high number of tokens in a single wallet or even the creator wallet. Obviously, gigantic red flag. Uh, fourthly, uh, you look at the liquidity and the volume of the token. A lot of scams lack initial liquidity. They'll have $10, $20 on there uh, and have an abnormally high market cap uh, in, in, uh, comparatively. Use Deck Screener to see the transactions and check for low volume. Look at, you know, like I said, low liquidity mm -hmm. or abnormally high volume. Uh, real projects typically start with with good liquidity and, and, and high volume. So that's uh, uh, another red flag. And finally, I would say, and most importantly, look at the creator wallet activity and the funding of the creator wallet. And you know, if so, the funding of the wallet, of the wallet, of the wallet that creates it, sometimes they go back several times thinking that we're not just gonna check three or four times removed, like it takes two extra seconds. But, um, you know, mm -hmm. scam wallets, uh, the creator wallet is usually brand new. So if you see very, very, very few transactions on it, go to DFK tracker and type it in. Um, that's typically a scam. Uh, look at the first transaction on that wallet and see how that wallet was funded. Um, most, most scam wallets are funded by a wallet that has previously conducted scams. Um, if mm -hmm. you can't find the initial funding at all, I would also avoid it. <laughs> um, th th there's so many red flags that people can look at. Um, look at uh, also, you know, if it was funded by something like Tornado Cash, which uh, is is typically used for money laundering, but not always to obfuscate. Mm -hmm. um, also a red flag. So, so you know, kind of digging into the creator wallet and funding, looking at the liquidity and volume, looking at the holders list, looking at their socials, and looking at their white paper and website all together can give you a really good idea. You know of if it's a scam you know i hope that i hope someone watches this and like took notes to learn all of that because that is <laughs> very clear on how you can avoid a scam so i'll probably have to just make that a clip cool. <laughs> just, please do everything you just said. Sure.